Hi there, this is Tim Lee. I am back home in Vancouver. It's a beautiful night and it's cold and I'm hungry and I'm excited because we're going to have some food uh, with a friend and thank you for joining. And we're gonna try something called hot pot, which is like a fondue but in broth with lots of good fatty meats and veggies. Uh, I'm meeting uh, Albert here uh, and uh, luckily he's got a table for us already. And thank you for joining. Come on, let's go have some food. So right outside the restaurant here, thankfully Albert has got us a table here. Uh, let's go in and uh, uh, take a look. So really busy restaurant here. Lots of food here. And that's our table here. Albert is hard at work ordering the food for us. When you come in, uh, you basically order your soup base and uh, all the food you want. So Albert actually was hard at work. Uh, we ordered quite a bit, so I uh, can't wait to take a look at what we have. So the soup is a, a mild soup, which is good. You can go spicy or you can do half-half, uh, but we chose the mild here. Lots of fatty meats and fish. So this is our table before the food has come, and you're gonna see this full of food and soup and uh, drinks. So while we're waiting for the food to come and all the soup to come as well, uh, I'm gonna get some condiments uh, so that we can start dipping the, uh, our food into. Let me take you around and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the uh, condiment station here. Uh, lots of sauces to choose from. I'm just gonna take my bowl here. So usually I stick with the saute sauce, a little bit of sesame paste. I'll throw that in my condiment here. Also a little chili to spice things up. And then on the other side, we've got some more chili sauce, some soy sauce. Add a little bit of saltiness to it. Some vinegar and oyster sauce. So maybe a little bit of vinegar to cut the richness. A little, a little bit of acid in there. And then they've actually got some uh, little snacks here for you to try first while we wait for our food to come. Put that in here. I think we've got to try some of this. Little crispy treats here. So I think we're ready to go. So I'm back at the table. Our uh, soup has arrived. Uh, so we're still waiting for a lot, lot of the food here. This is plum juice. When you're having hot pot, it's nice to have something cool and refreshing. So this is my sauce, which uh, when I take the food out of the soup, I'm going to dip that in. But we've got some little snacks here. Usually they're a little bit of filler. I'll Give it a try since uh, since I have you here. <coughs> wow, it's cold noodles, <coughs> very flavorful but spicy. This caught me off guard. Now let's try the uh, crackers. Mm. Very nice. It's a little bit of a filler, but uh, you can't resist. Within a few minutes, the first of uh, our dishes has arrived. This is, I think, the enoki mushrooms. So it looks like we're gonna start with the veggies first. Uh, the soup is bubbling away and we'll throw in the spinach and the veggies. Hopefully the meat comes uh, shortly, but uh, this is a really nice start to our dinner. So usually in the past, we didn't show very much constraint. So whenever the food comes, we'll just dump it all in together. This is really beautiful. We've got the broth, the, the veggies here. Uh, and then when the meat comes, we'll throw that in. Um, and afterwards, you get to taste a really flavorful broth. It's just really amazing. So perfect on a cold, dry night. Yeah, we're, we have some warm, soupy goodness here. Thank you. We've got some pumpkin slices, a lot of quail eggs. Wow. Uh, seafood, fish, mussels, and uh, little meatballs or seafood balls and dumplings. Again, uh, no, no restraint. We're just going to throw everything in. 
Okay, watch out, Albert. So this is a two-man job. Oh, and we have more coming. Thank you so much. And then we'll throw that in. So we've got the, uh, sorry, too many things going on. We've got the oysters and the shrimp and the pumpkin. How about, shall we? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, this broth is going to be flavorful. So I think the fish are ready. So I'm going to get a fish slice here. I think the dumplings are ready. So let's give that one a try too. And this is a dumpling. I really, it's really trying my uh, chopstick skills here. Mmm. Mmm, very nice. And I'm glad it's cooked. Very flavorful. There's pork and shrimp in here. Look at that. Really tasty. Mmm. The nice thing is when you have your own sauce, you can double dip as much as you want, so... Mm. Oh, so here comes the meat. What is this? The lamb. The lamb. Oh, look at that fatty lamb. So I think we'll need some help here. Albert. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, and while we're throwing this in, we've got more, more meats coming in. So it's shaved really thinly, mainly after the texture. I'll try the beef here. I'll use the other end of the chopsticks here. And let's just try it uh, really quickly. I don't like it too overcooked. I'll throw it in. I dropped a piece there. But that's as much as I, I want it cooked here. Let's throw it in here. Flip the chopsticks around. And look at all that good fat here. Mm. Very tender, very fatty. Lots of food here and Shine, thank you so much for the amazing service. Okay, thank you. We kept ordering and ordering. Your arms must be so tired, but thank you so much. Okay, no, no. Okay. <laughs> right. This is my favorite, yeah? All right. Okay. okay, so off to round two. Thank you so much. Might be looking a little tired here. We're on our third or second and third uh, orders here and uh, our eyes are certainly bigger than our stomachs. Anyhow, very good but very filling and very uh, very tiring at this point. You know, so this is what we have so far and you can see a little bit of spinach, a little bit of uh, beef, uh, kind of Christmassy, uh, but um, uh, we're gonna fight the good fight and carry on. Um, so just a couple of tips though, if you're, uh, if you're trying hot pot for the first time, this is an all you can eat. Well, feel free to explore. If there's something you don't like, that's okay. Just order something else. If you order too much, which we have uh, here, uh, just tell them it already came and then they should take it back. That was a tip from Albert there. A little bit of a sneaky way of doing it there. You saw us dump everything in at once. That's because we're hungry and we're a little bit ravenous. But be forewarned, your soup might end up a little murky like, uh, like what you see here. Well, again, as I said, we'll, we'll uh, fight the good fight and continue on. Uh, and we'll take you back for some uh, dessert. Three hours in, uh, I think we're okay. We'll take you for some dessert. I'm just gonna have a little bit. This is uh, essentially, I think it's a tapioca dessert here with uh, some sago. All right, so this is uh, back at the table here. This is the soup we have, a little bit of taro, a little bit of a sago in a coconut milk. So uh, they don't have too much. Uh, actually, that's all you saw there, but that's okay because uh, I can't eat uh, much after that anyhow. So let's give this a try. Mm. Not very sweet, but lots of texture, very creamy and coconutty. Mm. Very good. Uh, thank you for joining me and thank you for joining us. Uh, so this is a hot pot. Again, if you haven't tried it, uh, give it a try. Uh, be adventurous. Uh, nothing to lose. You, you just might order too much um, and uh, actually you'll have everything to gain. Uh, but again, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, so uh, I'll check back with you later. Cheers.